Sadly, last night uh, we lost a major in the IDF operating against Palestinian terrorists with commanders in the front. It is yet another expression of the challenges the IDF faces in all arenas and the security it provides for the citizens of Israel at a heavy price sometimes. I convey my deepest, deepest condolences to the family and his girlfriend and embrace them and hug them. 30-year-old IDF Major Bar Falach from Netanya was killed overnight Wednesday near Jalama and the Gilboa Crossing in Judea and Samaria, or the West Bank. He was deputy commander of the Nahal Recon Battalion. This has two Palestinian terrorists, both of whom members of the Palestinian Authority's leading Fatah security forces, flanked and opened fire on Falah and other IDF troops at the checkpoint. Israeli soldiers then returning fire and killing the two attackers. Far from an isolated incident, however, shooting attacks exponentially increasing as of late. In fact, just hours before this overnight attack, another shooting reported at the same area targeting a Defense Ministry engineering vehicle that was working on the security barrier. Thankfully, no one was hurt, though, and the IDF searching for suspects. Meanwhile, IDF analysts warning of an incoming spike amidst the Jewish holiday season in the next few weeks, with security officials presenting Prime Minister Lapid with evidence of some 70 concrete plans to harm Israelis during the season, and more than 240 major plots already foiled this year, including suicide bombings, kidnappings, and shootings. Particularly worrying, though, the increasing number of attacks perpetrated by and praised by the Palestinian Authority official security forces. Again, the two shooters from last night's attack, coming from the Palestinian Authority military intelligence and PA President Abbas's own Fatah Party military, respectively. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.